Okay, we're into this uh, 350 long tractor and we're going to tear the rear axles off of the sides of it and get in at the seal. There's a break in there and I think what's going on is the oil just getting into the brakes and basically coming out the bottom of the drain holes and the bottom of the brakes. So yeah, we're going to get into it, start ripping these axles off, take a look and see what those seals are like. Sean's under here taking some linkage off for us. More yet. There is uh, holes in the bottom of this and they have cotter pins sticking down through and then they're kind of split. So as they hit tall grass they spin and they keep the holes clean while well, that's where we're getting a quite significant leakage of fluid. That's a just a spot from a relatively quick drive. We uh, we had brake cleaned it, wiped it all down, backed it in and out a couple times to see if we could get this to act up. But chances are there's probably no hydraulic oil in it because the owner was over earlier and we were talking. And he had said that uh, yeah it'll just dump out as fast as you can basically put it in all right we got the jack stands underneath of it and um, basically what we have to do is pop out those bolts that go around the axle there so we're gonna get right into that all right, we got all the bolts out, all the way around. So now we got to work this wheel off. See if we can uh, break it free. As you can't see, now you can. It's pretty wet. It's been leaking. We're gonna get that cover off, see if we can get that seal out, get a number off of it. That's our plan. So as you see here, at this moment, I'm removing the lock clips, which span between two bolts, and they fold over onto the flats of the hexes so that the bolts can't vibrate loose and come out during operation of the tractor and once this is uh, sealed up by the axle again you can't get at them so this is very important bearing retainer we got the uh, seal to uh, look after as well I think there's a few uh, o-rings in there as well so 
We're gonna take this off, clean it up, see what we got for numbers. All right, so we're first uh, order of business is to get this uh, ring out of here. <laughs> And then we gotta get that seal out of there, so we're just gonna flip that over. Oh, man. Yeah. Figure out how to uh, work that seal out. Okay, so we got the O-ring off. Got a hammer. Got some stuff over there. Oh, model car, and we got the seals. And we also have the seal number. Now I'm gonna get this other side off and uh, have it ready. All right, stick around. Okay, so the tires actually come off relatively easily, even with the weight of the axle on. They're heavy, but manageable. So here we are back into lock clips. You gotta get those removed, get the bolts out, and as you'll see later on, don't forget about that plate that's right behind those bolts. See, these uh, shims that come off here have to go back on each side individually. They're for the tapered bearing, and these are very paper thin. This, this side, the other side is a good stack. Clean that up. We're gonna pop that seal out. Obviously, it just popped out. So, that's what we got going on there. And uh, we're going to place that over ring as well. Alright, so we've got both those seals and o rings out. So we're going to get those tomorrow. Pick up a couple o rings. And uh, we're going to get that hydraulic tube and pick up another seal for another customer. So we'll be running around a bit tomorrow. As you can see, we got a tractor that looks like a fellow to cars or something. Ciao. Okay, new day, new seals, new o rings, all installed, we're good to go. Both of them shims are cleaned up and put on, straightened up. These ones will flatten out once they do their thing. So now we're on to. Uh, Cleaning up the rear end with some uh, brake clean. Okay, well we've been fuming ourselves out here pretty good with the brake clean. We got most of one side cleaned up here. It's just like anything, oil in the brakes is not a good thing. So, I'm trying to get most of that out. Still lots of shoe material there. So, yeah. Get the other side geared up and then hopefully we'll have a bit of help here. Get this put back together. Oh. By the way, all of these are uh, looking pretty good, so I can't catch my fingernail on them. I'll give them a dust with some scotch bright, and then we'll, we'll be good there. Don't light a match, that's for sure. Let this 
the arrow, and then, uh, yeah, we'll get to uh, reassembling all this stuff. I don't think it will go too bad, though. All right, now we're getting the seal hub put into the axle. What you'll notice is I'm using the wooden end of a hammer to lift the differential up and fit the bearing into the bearing race, which is on the inside of that hub. Said to move the carrier bearings a little in order to get that all lined up. Put the lock tabs on. Do some nuts to her. Bring her in gently so we don't uh, screw up the o ring as we're pushing it in. side so if you didn't notice on the other side there's the plate I forgot so we get that on on this side and we'll have to go back and put it on the other side but we'll keep moving forward on this side for now okay. you don't know this man you don't need to. So Fuck you it. found your uh, leak, uh, shall we say, a bad seal? Bad seal, yeah. Good seal. But it also has an O-ring on the inside of this. This is a hub, yep. right? Mm -hmm. So it's got an O-ring on the on that, and it's also got a seal on the inside. It's the shaft, yeah. And I think what was going on was the O-rings were bad. Yeah. And it was coming out from behind here. Okay. This one, I think, was so coming So then it was out coming down to the open area, and then it was and coming up the, uh, the yeah. leak tubes. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yep. So the vent tube go up any further? How far do they go? Do you... They're right underneath the right underneath the brake pad here. Yeah. So they, they don't they don't stick up at all. Then they no, they're right at the bottom. Yeah, they're right at the bottom yeah. underneath. So here, they're yeah. a drain too. To keep your brakes dry. Yeah. 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 Which yeah. It, it, it that was the only thing it could be, right? We were talking about the cotter pins that drop down through the drain holes in the bottom of that housing. I should have had a better picture of that, but I didn't get one, so we're just going to continue on with putting the lock clips on and carrying on with the rest of the work. Got that one. We'll put that on. Well, Ryan showed up with impeccable timing to help me get this entire axle back into place. Definitely helps having a second hand doing this. Uh, not as bad as it looks, but definitely helps to have two people do it. Yeah, there's the money shot right there. Check out my only dads. Um, you'll probably see a lot more of this on this channel. Sorry. Well, that lasted for the time that you heard you gear down. We picked it up. Yeah. Oh, there's Seymour. Didn't go too, too bad. Torque that fit down properly, Chad, because that comes off going 130 miles an hour. 
Happy John ain't gonna be Happy John. <laughs> <laughs> the upset John. <laughs> yeah. Start calling him upset John. He was Happy John for years. And then he took his tractor to shed. He ruined it. I've never seen him this way. Now we're just getting the bolts torqued back down on the axle of the axle itself. Not a great camera angle, but at this point I'm just locking some tabs over on the axle of the axle itself. Hey Chad, what are you doing today? Well, I'm putting this axle into this uh Tractor single handedly. Single handedly. Single handedly. Which one are you going to damage? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you doing single handed? All right, Roy, give me a hand. See what's good, Chad doing? Action shots. Action shots. Get in on the action. We're putting in these air bolts there. Ain't paying for nothing. They're not paying for something. You know what I mean? I'm paying to get the bolts put in. I mean the YouTube people. Oh, they're not paying for nothing. <laughs> they just get to but see stuff. They're not paying for something though, is what I'm saying. They're just getting to see stuff. mean like there's a lot of ways to do it that's a better style yeah but it's also all exposed as well so well I just mean even those levers it can be done a different kind of uh, well they should have had you on the team engineer well, you're, you're, you're totally right they didn't though you're totally right I know and I went down the wrong path and went the useless way to the dock here yeah you could have ended up in some I gotta say Romanian some... tractor factory I think I'd do great in a Romanian tractor factory Chet I think you would too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you would too, Ryan. Thank you would too. <laughs> okay. So we have the rear end together, new seals in it. Uh, we have the floor pans on now. We should be good to go. We okay. fill up with oil. Yeah, we gotta fill it up with oil too, I guess, Sean. Just to keep things interesting, keep things alive in there. What are we gonna do? <laughs> because we gotta brainstorm. I can't be like goodbye without just saying goodbye. So, thanks for joining us on our excellent adventure. No. Thanks for hanging out with us while we do stupid things. No. <laughs> that was awesome. Thanks for, thanks for watching people who are very unproductive. Well, I hope that was an awesome experience. Well, I hope that was an awesome experience for you guys, because it was quite the experience for us. <laughs> <laughs> uh.
<laughs> okay, well. I'm just gonna take all of these and like cadets them all. Put that in the comments. Which ones do you guys like? Ooh, Ooh then we can play the algorithm. Oh, the algorithm. It should be original. Okay. It shouldn't be thanks for watching. It shouldn't be subscribe to me. Uh, no, we're not. No, we're not no, 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 you know. You, we need them, but we're not gonna <laughs> <laughs> How about you chose to watch this video? Thanks for watching. Or thanks for being here. Remember, you chose to watch this video. <laughs> Remember, this is on you for watching. This. Completely different. Now for something completely different. I might be copper here, right there, though. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed your stay here with us. Remember, copies of this video can be purchased for DVD. <laughs> <laughs> Get our DVD box set. <laughs> if you order now. You can get our DVD box set. It comes with no sets of brakes and all fun packed airtime. Airtime. Yeah, we got some sponsors that we'd like to introduce. Bic lighters. More than just for lighting smokes. Canadian tire tarps. Keeps this place together. Alright, say goodbye to me, I'm going home. Not check you later. You don't say check you later. Sometimes I do. We do Buzzy and Buzzettes. All right, Buzzy, till next time. Mm -hmm.